Hey guys, it's me, 80s from 44. Today, guys, I wanted to talk about the World Cup 2026 Asia. Um, Asia. Now, I know this has been out for several weeks now, several, a few weeks now, and I'm very well aware of that. Like I said, guys, I just haven't had the time to look into this stuff, you know, because, you know, club season just began and everything. However, um, you know, today has been a kind of a quiet day. You know, obviously, I know there's been big news with the whole, you know, Casemiro to, you know, Manchester United and everything like that, and obviously... You know, but I wanted to take a little time off about the club-related football and give you guys an international content. Because at the end of the day, guys, international content is what I actually love the most. I actually prefer over club football, you know. And so I wanted to take the time to talk about this. And I realized the more and more, the later I do this, the later I'll forget. So, you know, let's look into the World Cup 2026. I believe this was approved on August 1st. First, and let's go ahead and look at the new format. So as you guys can see, the first round will be the traditional, the lower rank nations will play home and away, um, as per usual, like, um, it's obvious, like, these nations, um, 26th to 47th, they'll be playing home and away, I mean, like I said, these 25 nations are good enough, I mean, these 25 nations are good enough, um, to make, they shouldn't be in this position, so, they'll be playing home and away, um, and then the winners of those, uh, first round entries actually make it to the second round, in which we're going to have actually A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, so then the top two nations in each group actually advance to the final stage, which is going to be the third round, and two is, get, um, we're going to have three groups actually this time. And we're going to have, so how is this going to work? And the three groups, okay, I see. Group A, group B, group C, so the top two. Uh, then we're going to have a, and then group A is going to have third and fourth, and okay, so this is going to be a fourth round. So how is this going to work? I need to read the details here. Okay, where does it say right here? Let's start from the very beginning. Okay, so it says right here, uh, 22 teams ranked 26 to 47 will play home and away over two legs. 11 winners advance the second round. I think that's straightforward. That's um, very straightforward. And then 36 teams ranked 1 to 25 and 11 first round winners are divided into nine groups of four teams that play home and away round robin matches. The 18 group winner and gr group runners up advance the third round. I understand that. I understand that. 18 teams, which advance to the second round, divide into three groups of six teams to play home and away Ron Robin matches. The top two teams for each group qualify for the World Cup. The third and fourth place teams advance to the fourth round. Oh, I see. I see now. Okay, this makes interesting. The sixth, third, and fourth place teams from the third round are divided into two groups of three teams. They each play single round Robin, two matches. The winner of each group advances to the 2026 World Cup. The group runners in the previous round will compete in a playoff to determine the Asian represent the Interconfederation playoff. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So let's go ahead and let's put it into simple terms, if that was complicated enough. I think that was actually explained very well, but I'm going to try to do my own words. So basically, the the, the bottom ranked nations will play home and away. You know, the, 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 the nation that has a higher aggregate score makes it to the second round. And the top two from every group qualifies. And the third and fourth have the Asian Cup qualifying round. Third round, so they'll join them. And I believe the nations that do make the third round automatically qualify for the Asian Cup. And then the third and fourth place teams from each group from A to C will play in the fourth round of group A to B, single games. And then the group winners make the World Cup. And then the group winners up will play in an interconfederate, will play in the fifth round. The two nations will play in a fifth round. Then the aggregate score for that will determine the um, in interconfederation playoff. So that is very interesting, man. Very interesting indeed. I actually like this format. It's very similar to the old one, except that basically um, for the third round, you're going to have another round afterwards for the um, third and fourth place nations. So that's pretty much the only difference. It's really the latter stages that really affects everything else is pretty much the same. So like I said, I want to hear you guys in the comment section below if you guys do enjoy the new 2026 World Cup qualifying format. And maybe what I'll do is this. Maybe as a preload to the new 2022, uh, 2026 World Cup coming up in four years, I might do an early World Cup predictions or early World Cup qualifiers predictions. I don't know when I'm going to do that video, but I'll try to do that sometime before the World Cup qualifiers begin and every respected confederation. So I'll try to do that maybe after a conclusion of 2022. So I think, you know what? I think I'll do after the conclusion of 2022 World Cup. I think I'll do like around like January of next year because I imagine those World Cup qualifying games will probably begin in June. So I'll try to do like an early video and prepare for you guys. Uh, for that kind of thing. So if you guys do want to see that, let me know in the ch uh, comment section below. Like I said, guys, if you do enjoy international football, this is the channel for you. I try to cover as much international content as I possibly can. Um, please consider subscribing. Like this video if you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.